those immigrant minions I hired? Well, I sort of can't pay them now because, you know, well, you kind of followed my plans, and so I didn't get paid, and, uh, well, I had some pretty pissed off minions. Can you meet me at the bank? I'd really appreciate it. Chaos out! Haha, <laughs> you'll never get in here, super fool! new kid. All right, so this is the person you wish to have co-signed for you? Oh, that's correct. I, see, I hired a bunch of minions to help me destroy the town, uh, but my plan didn't actually come to fruition, and so I'm unable to pay the minions at this time. All right, well, what we can do is set up an LLC for you, which we can use to fund a money market account co-signed by your friend here, whose house we can put a lien on to an overseas investment, and it's gone! What's gone? Your friend's house. It's gone. Owned by a company in Hong Kong now. Thank you. Have a nice day. But I just needed to pay my minions. I didn't mean to get my friend's house taken away. Yeah, you're not too good at this economic stuff, huh? Perhaps your friend should play. Yeah, you play, new kid. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. All right, kid, try your luck. Round she goes. Where she stops, only a random number generator knows. Hit your class advancement goal and rise to the next economic level, but go bankrupt, your level will drop. Gold for cash bonus turns bankruptcy spots to gold. We got a bonus in play. Woohoo! Gold, yeah! Oh, and it's gold for cash. Turn that bankruptcy into gold. Woohoo! Gold, yeah! Oh, and it's gold for cash. Turn that bankruptcy into gold. Credit default strike. That sounds scary. That means you've earned the market manipulation bonus. If you use this before a spin, you can instantly stop the spin whenever you want. And you've done it! Woo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These children just got a loan for over $80,000 to pay immigrant workers their salaries. You can be a winner, too. Just keep on trying, people. Here's your check, kid. Gee whiz, thanks a lot, new kid. You're really good at this. Well, come on, we gotta get this to my minions. Sorry, I can't be on social media with someone in your economic class. Yeah, I don't want Craig to see me posting on social media when he's so down. Damn kids that paid immigrant workers. Yeah, they got a loan to pay their minions, so you know what that means? They took our job. They took our job. They took your job. Wait a minute. I thought we were mad because of their gender choice and sexuality and stuff. No, that's of those other guys. We just want our jobs back. Oh, well, let's get your jobs and make fun of them for their former self-identification. Come on, boys. Let's show them some minions made in America. Speaking of minions... Well, gosh, I feel bad I don't have enough minion jobs for those fellers. But thanks again, new kid. Who knows? Maybe we'll start our own Legion of Evil super villains one day. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? Bye! Okay, new kid. Apparently, Tweak and Craig have agreed to some counseling together. Okay. Could you meet us at the school? Thank you. No. Girls. Allowed.
No. Girls, allowed. Here's Butt Lord now. Great job, hero. Those freedom posters have no idea you fucked them over. All right, guys, listen up. Butt Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where little bitches said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. But Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Classy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, Butlord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pass. What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No. New kid? Absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. Gadgeteer. Plant Mancer. Martial artist. A martial artist. Sometimes known as the monk in other dumb games. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. As a martial arts themed superhero, you focused your chi to ready your body for combat. As your opponent gloated, you took the opportunity to strike with your dragon reversal attack! In one motion, you sent him tumbling backwards and so... Well, so you think you know Kung Fu, huh, kid? The fools didn't know the powers they were toying with. and with great focus executed your ultimate move, the Dragon Swagger! What, you little... You just wanna rile us up? Is that it, kid? Your foes flew into a blind rage, swinging futilely into your shielded body. Opponents rendered stupefied in their own anger. You broke out the ancient and powerful dragon dance! I shouldn't have doubted your moves. I'm sorry. As an honorable fighter, you didn't take any joy in your opponent's demise. Channeling your chi into your fist, you finished your foe off with a dragon force punch! Okay, that was, that was actually pretty cool. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. <sighs> oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. There's nothing more to talk about. I'll be in touch tonight after your parents think you're sleeping.
stupid fucking cow! Have another glass of Chardonnay, why don't you? I have to drink to deal with you! That marijuana is changing you somehow! At least marijuana is natural, not like... grapes! You're fucking hot! Maybe so, but I'm not telling everyone our child's secrets! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Have Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Oh, hey, kiddo! Daddy's gonna go upstairs to his room. Mommy's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Sweetie, you forgot to eat your dinner. Mommy put it down on the table. Come on, honey. Gotta eat your supper. Did you put more of that stuff in our child's food? Shut your fucking mouth! How do we know that medicine doesn't have side effects, huh? You know our child needs the medicine as much as I do! Uh, you drunken whore! Fucking butthead! How dare you make our child choose sides! You put the medicine in his food, too! I'm not having anyone choose sides! Go on down and eat your supper, champ. New kid, get dressed and meet me out front. Hurry, the night awaits. Cool room. It's about time. You know how hard it is to look mysterious when you're just standing around in some kid's front yard? It's pretty fucking hard. I'm glad you're with us, new kid. It's been tough being the only one on the team with real superpowers. While all the other kids are playing and working on their franchise plans, I'm stuck defending the city against evil, with barely any time to work on my pitch for a Mysterion spin-off movie. Sometimes it feels like a curse having these powers. You know how it is, because you're like me. I'm sure the power of your ass weighs heavy on you. Dude, I don't like to talk about it, huh? That's okay, I understand. Let's just get to the police station and find the evidence we need. Tina, I'm sorry. No, ma'am. No, please don't. I'll be a good boy. I wow, the adults in this town are really out of their fucking minds. Jeez. Hope you like eggs. What a bunch of dicks. It's worse than I thought, new kid. This is not normal. You're really mysterious, new kid. And coming from Mysterion, that's really high praise. Look, there they are! All right, Freedom Pals, here's the plan. Once we get inside the police station, Toolshed and the new kid will set up a diversion and then the... Wait a minute, what the fuck? Yeah, come on, guys, uh, we've got to get inside the police station. What are you assholes doing here? We're here to investigate a hot lead regarding the South Park Police. Ah, that's what we're doing! Oh, no. No, no, this is our superhero mission, Freedom Pals. Fuck you guys. Get lost before there's a fight. Fellas, fellas! Have we all forgotten there's a little girl in trouble in there? Fast pass is right. I suppose that just this once we should put our petty differences aside and work together. All right, Mysterion, what's the plan? I think some of us should cause a diversion. Make the cops head towards it so the rest of us can sneak in without the cops noticing. Good idea. 
Coon friends will go up the fire escape and cause the diversion so Freedom Pals can sneak in the front. This is all pretty coincidental. Did you guys just steal our lead again? Innocent people are being arrested, Toolshed. That's all that matters to us. It should be all that matters to you. Okay, Coon friends up the fire escape. Come on, guys. Stand by. We gotta wait for the diversion. Come take a look at this. Oh, man, that's strong shit. Yeah, does this coke seem a little off to you? No, no, this is sweet. You guys want to call some hookers? What the fuck was that? Come on, let's check it out. B bring the coke. All right, come on, Butlord. The coast is clear. Oh, shit, a criminal! And he's with an innocent child! Code red, assault on the precinct! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Ah, shit. I guess we're dealing with these guys ourselves. Freeze, Mr. Lammy! Well, come here first and then freeze. You're going to the big house, crime fighter! Let me know if you're carrying any drugs. Wouldn't want them to get broken. Hope I remember. That's enough. Just stand down, kid. Look, I know why you're here. You're fed up. Because you think all cops do is harass black people. I know that to a young kid it can seem like cops are racist and bigoted. But you can't believe what the media tells you. Cops are just people. Like you. Your friends. Your family. People who work hard to- Spook! Oh! Uh, Tupperware! Damn it, Levinsky! Get your ass upstairs! Sir! And turn on the alarm! That fucking asshole shot at me! <laughs> get him! This isn't going to get any easier, but those cops need to pay. That looks like an override switch. I don't know how to get past that turret, though. Say, um, oh, oh shit, I'll be right back. Hey, get us out of here! Token, thank God you're here, son. Dad, what the fuck are you doing here? They're trying to free. 
free the criminal! Get down! Get down! I'm gonna beat you down and then lock you up, as is my constitutional right! You're under arrest, criminal! 6%. Okay, okay. I know this looks bad. You really think cops just go around arresting black people for no reason? What purpose could that possibly serve? It's reverse discrimination, that's what it is. If we were all black cops and our jails were filled with white people, nobody would say a word. So I guess you've learned that the real bigots here are you. Huh, kids? Guess you can all go home. No? Fuck. We're innocent, so breaking out of jail isn't a crime, right? I'm not sticking around to find out. I smell a class action lawsuit. Supreme Court, here we come. Token, what did I tell you about playing too rough? But Mom, I was defending justice. I don't care what you were defending. You could have gotten hurt. My Tupperware can't get hurt. He's impervious to pain. Is he impervious to getting his butt spanked? No. That's right. Hey, kid, I was just messing around about the government. They're not so bad. They're actually pretty good guys. Hey, be cool, man. They're listening to us right now. Just act natural. Oh, shit, they're probably tracking this call. I'm fucking out of here. Seems kind of like overkill. I don't see a switch anywhere. We might need to find a way to cut the power, like last time. Hello, minion. Hey, new kid, we have to sneak past this guy to that door over there. Cool said, always right for the job. You got this. Hmm. Your ass is awesome, dude. Here 
little minion. what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that scrambles! What? You found the missing cat, butt lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief! Top floor! What can I say? You kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good. Eating the subway sandwiches. His name is Jared and he's still looking good. Hey kids, you want some candy? Oh fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. I just love conjugal visits. Hi. Ah. Today, you cross paths with the- Well, you kids are pretty tough. But now let's see how you deal with my AIDS. This is all going exactly according to my PR plan. Thanks, AIDS. We'll handle- What are the police doing with the people they arrested? Oh, how should I know? I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No, no, please, please, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything. What is the police chief hiding? There's, there's more cells down below. Cops take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? Uh, come on, how should I know, huh? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, I seen him type it in. 1477, please, I, I'm sorry. It's just that... I like being with children, you know, because I, because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. <laughs> wow, dude, that was hardcore. All right, well, that was pretty uncomfortable. I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we do anything with the body? <sighs> Protective. Bang, bang. This is a one-time shot, Coon. After tonight, we are enemies again. Our petty little differences aren't what matter right now, Mysterion. Black lives matter. Yeah, dick. You're a fucking dick, Mosquito. Let's go open the gate. If this takes much longer, I might need a short snack break. Huh? What was that? Hello? Hello, is someone there? No, I guess no one's there. Or else they would have said something. All right, then. It's just me and you, kitty. No one's gonna find us in here. Come on. Give me that good stuff. Hey, stop it. Hold still! Ah, oh, bananas, the cat got away. Can't see a thing in here. Sounds like the cat's getting into the toxic chemicals. Oh, darn it, that's not good. I 
hope those weren't the toxic chemicals I was just talking about that broke on the floor just now. Uh, oh no, I, I think they were. Drat. If those chemicals mix together on the floor, it'll turn into a gas that'll kill me in seconds. Blast it, there's the gas. Yes. <coughs> it's definitely killing me now. <coughs> Oh, thank God. The exhaust fan's sucking out the toxic gas. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Now, where's that blasted cat? <coughs> oh no. I think the cat just jumped into the exhaust fan and jammed it. Gas is filling up the room and it's killing me again. I'm dying again. <laughs> Sounds like the emergency door closed. Yep, the emergency door closed, and I'm trapped in here. I need to get out of here. Just have to <coughs> feel around for the doorknob. Here, here it is, yes, I'm saved. Oh, blast it. The door's locked, and I'm stuck in here. Somebody help me. The gas is killing me, I'm really dying this time. Seriously, I can feel myself dying, it's so painful. Help, for the, for the love of everything up here. If you're there, you can hear me right now. Do something. It's it's killing me. It's killing me. Wait. I think I feel the light switch. With my last breath, I'll just turn it on. all that, did you, new kid? Here, little minion. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get out of here now. You kid. Out of the way. Brilliant detective work, but hope. some dangerous shit behind that door. You should use the vending machine to stock up on supplies yeah, before you yeah, go in Yeah, yeah, Shabnigaraf. Black goat of the woods. Blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigaraf. Black goat of 1,000 morbid young. Draw down the moon and extinguish the sun. All right, let him go. No! Ah, uh, sir? Huh? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shub Niggeroff is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist too. Oh fuck, was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboys! Get me the fuck up out of here, these niggas completely cray! Let's end it! All right. You kids want a battle? Let's do this. We have to save that lady. Okay, chuck another one in. 
Aw, oh, fucking hell no! Ow! Oh, shit! No! The All-Mother can't stand white meat! The All Mother demands black flesh. So, I'm not afraid. Kill the unbelievers. Kill the unbelievers. No, I will not let you bring harm to the goat with a thousand young. I'm here to protect thee, my queen. Get to the safe zone. Unbelievers! You about to get some out of God dick up your ass! Welcome. Who are you? Oh my god, you guys! We've got a hundred bucks to get our franchise off the ground! Fucking coon and friends! Fuck yeah, you guys! We did it, dude! That was awesome! One hundred dollar reward money, here we come! Whoa, whoa, wait! What's going on? Where are you taking that cat? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Freedom Pals. There's, a uh, certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked. Ah, oh, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kind of totally fucked you guys over, sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, freedom pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them freedom pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan. We deserve that hundred dollar reward. Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us. We will! Civil War Three, it's going down! That's it, new kid. We're gonna rip you apart. No, Mysterion. We won't fight the new kid. They will. All right, new kid. Time to die. Let's get this little shit. I'll hold him off, sidekick. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> my trusty helmet must shield me from your mental powers. Okay, but then why didn't my brain get hacked? Sorry, Chaos. Unfortunately, Dr. Timothy can only dominate so many minds at once. You dare lay a hand on Professor Chaos! Oh, shit. Whoa, what the... what happened? How'd my lip get busted? Where the fuck did Classy go? Dr. Timothy! You fucking animal! He was trying to help us! Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom Pals and Coon Friends! What? Uh, Tim, 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 Tim. Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guy's base? This is fantastic. This looks like so much fun. Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. Oh, my God. He's figured it out. 
It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus. This is... incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it. <laughs> so while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys. No more Civil War. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like the, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together. Freedom Pals. Retribution. But, but with inclusion! Fuck yeah, you guys. Let's do this. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park! An attack on the SPPD police station last night has left citizens in shock and disbelief. With prisoners now on the loose and policemen in the hospital, one member of the Chamber of Commerce has had enough and is announcing his bid for mayor. The citizens of South Park deserve to feel safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together! We can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. Don't you sometimes feel like you have no idea what to do next? Like you haven't been given any direction and you're unsure what's even going on? My child, it's because you've been trying to find yourself in the wrong way. Knowing your sexual identity or race or ethnicity, that's nothing compared to knowing who you are spiritually. Someone is waiting for you at the pond who will finally help you find your true self. Kid, over here. I've been watching you, and I believe we can help each other. Have you heard of the Super Best Friends? Well, it is I, Seaman. A powerful superhero with the amazing ability to talk to fish and swim. It's Seaman. That Seaman. It is my job to help all creatures of the sea. And right now, there is a gay fish who wants help getting his mother into heaven. I want to help the little gay fish, but all the other super best friends keep saying they're too busy. Will you help? Then swim down to the water's depth with me. Don't worry, my water defenses shall protect you. And so, the new kid dives down through the water, protected by seamen. Seaman! Down to where the little gay fish makes his home. Boo-hoo-hoo! Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo! Do not cry, little fish! I have returned, and with help! Oh, thank you, seamen! You really think you can help my mom get to heaven? It's sea, man, and yes, I do. This child has incredible powers. All right, if you get my mom into heaven, I will give you $3 million and some jewelry. 
Just touch my little gay flipper, and we shall be magically transported to help her. Touching the gay fish's flipper, Seaman and his sidekick are transported to Valhalla, where another fish rides a unicorn. I'm here, Mama! Is that you, baby? It's me! We're gonna get you to heaven, Mama. Just hold on. This kid's gonna help us. Okay, baby, whatever you say, you little gay... Seaman's sidekick had to help the gay fish's mom fly to heaven on a stream of rainbow unicorn farts. That's Seaman again. This road leads right to heaven, Ma. Just watch out for those columns. Oh, man, this has everything. Columns, fireballs, sparkly rainbows. It's genius. But even as the gay fish's mom got closer to heaven, the path became more treacherous. This is so exciting. Uh-oh, you're going so fast. I'll just get to heaven quicker, baby. This is one of the most amazing things of all time. Of all time. The gay fish's mom was nearly to the outskirts of heaven, but then Zazul appeared. Oh no, that demon represents all my haters. These fireballs are like the mean tweets people send at me because they don't understand my genius. No one's ever seen shit like this before. You think this shit's regular? to me. Mama! Hold on a sec. What is that? You have done very well, my child. Thank you, Jesus. Not you, Seaman. The kid. Seaman! Oh, yeah, right. Anyway, you had no reason to help this little gay fish, my child. And yet, you did. Kid had every reason to help me. I'm a lyrical genius voice of a generation. I see that you were trying to determine your spirituality, my child. Allow me to help thee. There are good and bad in every religion, my child. Which are you? Lawful. Chaotic. Neutral. Chaotic. Agnostic. Hindu. Jew. Hindu. Okay, you're a chaotic Hindu. Oh wait! I bet you want a selfie with Jesus, right? Congratulations, my child. You know who you are now. You are one step closer to believing in yourself. Good luck, my little chaotic Hindu. Well, well, well. Look at what we've got here. We've got ourselves a cisgender, heterosexual, Asian, Danish, chaotic, Hindu. Dang, Cletus, why are you talking like that? Dialogue tree. Oh, I gotcha. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. Welcome to America, motherfuckers. Now get the fuck out. My God's a vengeful God and he told me to fuck you up. Timmy's franchise plan. All that work. It's barely even readable. It must have come in the night. Got past the security grid. Damn it. Who the hell would do this? I'll bet it was the sixth graders. Only they would stoop to this level. No, this was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message, full screen. Oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, God damn it! Looks like I had something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid has something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch! Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't- <laughs> 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 Oh! 
Did you hit me? Did you see that? Get out, Dad. And then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry, or else there'll be more of this. Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, guys. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. N new kid, you believe me, don't you? I'll prove my innocence, you assholes. Come on, we gotta get that fat fuck. What'd he tell you? All right, new kid. I'm gonna tell you where to go, and you're gonna go there on foot. No fast travel. You got that? The first one is easy. Go to the place where people get their coffee fix. Better hurry. Tick tock, tick tock. When you get to the location, you're gonna see a guy in a red shirt. Go talk to him. Hello, welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? I don't know if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. Hello? It's for you. That's real good, new kid. But now I'm gonna make things a little harder on you. Instead of telling you where to go, I'm giving you a riddle. You ready? A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes. Go into this door to find what your prize is. Dude, I'm so wasted on this stuff. You think you can outsmart a shitty ninjas? Oh, don't think you can run from a shitty ninja. You see, shitty ninja always have a backup plan. You have made many enemies in this town, vigilante. And now, you will have to face us all at the same time. Group leaders, think it down, ma! Sixth graders! Raising girls assembled! They took our jobs! Crappy ball! Haha, <laughs> vigilante! Everybody mad at you! Prepare to die! I hear you've been bullying sixth graders! Not cool! Please prepare for authentic shinobi action, please! But Lord, it's me, buddy! A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes? What, what could it mean? We've got to solve this riddle. Take down Connor together and prove our innocence. And hey, thanks for being the only one who believes in me. Hey, new kid. I've been following what's going on. I'm trying to pinpoint Cartman's location. For now, just do what he says so he doesn't get suspicious. No, 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 no. Let gay fish be gay fish. That's what I'm saying. Sure, you don't understand. You go, you you? Just let gay fish be gay fish. What do you want? What's you the gay fish doing, they say? That's my great challenge. That's the weight on my shoulders, to bring understanding to the people, you understand? Well, I, uh... But how could you? So, you solved my riddle, huh? You're not as dumb as I thought. You see the guy standing over there? Take a selfie with him. Do it now, your mom is gonna suffer! I suppose no one bullies you around, little superhero. At least not too much. Crime fighting's not a game, vigilante. You're gonna get somebody killed. <laughs> You're getting close, new kid. But to find me, you're gonna have to solve one more riddle. I am a place where seats hang from chains. Part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. Sonanta. 
I'm a place where seats hang from chains, part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. What could it mean? Chaos is calling you out. How did you solve my riddle? God, you're so smart. Wow, I'm so jelly. All right, you see that woman there? Go talk to her. He... He told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Get a selfie with her. Do it now! I'm sorry. He, he said he would poop on my patio. What was I supposed to do? We just cleaned, <laughs> cleaned our patio. I had to do what he... <laughs> that should just about do it. Sorry, kid. I have what I need now. See you around. New kid, I got him. All of his messaging has been coming from the community center. You heard her, Freedom Pals! Everyone get to the community center, now! Where's everyone else? It doesn't matter. There's no time. Let's get this fat turd while we can. All right, one, two, three! <gasps> oh my god, look! Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet. But when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Cartman. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. We have to stop him, you guys. He's got all the new kid's followers now. Even with their help, you can't stop me, Keen. We'll see about that, motherfucker. All right, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him! <laughs> we can stop Mitch Connor, guys! Just try not to hit me! Where are they? Where are the new kid's parents? <laughs> You'll never know, no, no, no. Connor, no! Shit, he's gone! Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human cat? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're gonna torture me for what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the Keen! What the... Somebody call for a f fast pass? There you go. New kid, we're ready to start torturing the coon. We need your help. Come to Freedom Pal's base. What is wrong with you guys? I am not your enemy! You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the Coon. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? So, so what? I, I just have to watch you eat? Is that it? I'm, I'm not afraid. Is that a cuttlefish? Oh, I, I, I prefer salmon myself. <laughs> See? It, it doesn't even faze me. Hey, I, I got an idea. Why don't we start looking for the new kid's parents? No, oh, fuck. Not, no, not even a little bit. I can gobble those farts up. See? Nom, nom, nom. Guys, I really wish we could just wrap this up. 
and get this knot. Oh, no, you're not gonna eat that vomit-covered broccoli. It's not organic. Oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. They're not... <coughs> oh, wait, 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 you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, God, the cats. What cats? I just remembered. Connor, I think the, the fudge jarred my memory. The, he said something about making cats more powerful than... Yes, that's it. He must he must want to genetically alter the cats. The genetics lab. Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, cats. 